So today we have a little guide for you on the new military camps added in 0.61's experimental branch of DayZ. We'll be showing you where they are, as well as some detailed screenshots to get you prepared for when you arrive at your destination. And we're going to start off with a military camp just west of Kamenka Town, down Bay Takea, where you'll find an awesome looking traffic jam, the last ditch effort on the southwestern coast of Chernoris, and several tents inside a compound. Not many people travel this far southwest, so this West Kamenka military camp will no doubt do the job. Next up we have Mushkino Tent City, which I'm sure all of us should know where it is by now, has been reduced greatly, which of course allowed for all the other military camps around Chernoris to be implemented. Though it does look a little sparse now, I'm sure we'll get used to it pretty quickly, and when that new visual fidelity overhaul comes in 0.62, the surrounding wooded areas are gonna look super fine. Next up we have the reworked Northwest Airfield, which has been reduced in size slightly, not as much as Mishkino, and reorganized also. I do like the look of the new Northwest Airfield military camp, and I'll look forward to you guys shooting me in the face as soon as I enter. Next up we have a small military camp located just west of Lopatino and southwest of Sinistock on the Northern Highway. Carry on down that road to the west before you reach the No Man's Land, you'll see a small military and evacuation camp, and again lots of detail and cars parked all over the road. Again, not many people travel this far out west, so it'll be nice to start seeing people in this area. Next up we have a reworked Tizzy military camp. I was quite impressed with Tizzy as it was before, but now there's an even larger military gear focus, where we only had a few barracks before. There are now quite a few military tents. Of course, do keep in mind that Tizzy Military Camp is still considered very much work in progress, so be sure to keep your eyes on more potential changes in the future. Next up, we have a reworked Kamenx Military Camp. Not many people travel up this far, just north of Severograd, mainly because Kamenx Military Camp only contained two military loot barracks. But now, the center of Kamenx is filled with tents and will also now be filled with survivors ready to shoot your face off and take your precious loots. Next up we have a small military compound just east of Osno, which is just south of Severograd, which contains a couple of military tents. Hopefully you'll be able to grab some gear for your adventures to come. Next up we have a small military compound located just east of Gorka at the T-junction right before the U-Bend. Gorka is usually one of the places I always go on my beginning route as a freshborn, so I'll be visiting this place quite frequently. Next up we have Tarovo Military Camp just north of Svedlo, riddled with the rotting corpses of attempted evacuees and a nice little traffic jam. You'll find military gear here if you get a Svedlo spawn. Or, if you're me, you'll attract a load of infected, get trapped inside a house, and starve to death. If you're better than me, which no doubt you probably are, you can always take a long jog down to Staroy, where you'll find another military camp. This one is one of the larger of the new military camps added in 0.61's experimental branch, so you'll no doubt find a decent amount of military gear, as long as there's nobody else there, of course. If you manage to get everyone's favorite electro spawn though, why not head straight north to Topolka Dam, where on the T-junction to Stauroy, you'll find another military camp. In this location, you'll have the convenience of the civilian campsite also, so you can grab all kinds of good loots. And finally, if you get a Cherno spawn, head up to the northern high-rises between Japevsk and Novoselki, and you'll find another military camp on the T-junction. So get up there and get looting. So with that all being said, these new military camps could present a whole new gaming experience within DayZ, making your adventures that little more unpredictable, moving that military gear PvP focus away a little from the northwest area of the map. So let us know in the comment section below your thoughts on these new military camps added in 0.61's experimental branch of DayZ. Are you looking forward to creating new stories, never seen before, in these new areas? Or are you excited to just get up there, camp with a sniper rifle, and take out any freshborns that turn up? I'll leave a link in the description to Daisy TV's heat map, showing where these locations are exactly, if this video isn't enough for you. And remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you feel like supporting my channel. And I'll see you peeps next time.